Flash flooding in California, fire in Texas, freezing rain through the Midwest to the Mid-Atlantic, and snow for the Northeast. Good morning, I'm Mira Aljus Pew. It's Christmas Day and we got a lot to talk about. Throughout the coast of California, there is a slight risk from the Weather Prediction Center of flash flooding and a moderate risk or a three out of four again for the Los Angeles and the transverse mountain ranges. We have a low pressure system off the coast of California that's bringing in waves of scattered heavy rain throughout the day and it's just gonna continue on tomorrow too and it probably won't end until about Friday at 10 p.m. Pacific time. At this point, almost the entire state of California has been seeing rain throughout the entire week and so the soil is pretty much very saturated and so it's gonna have a hard time retaining any more additional rainfall. And so with that being said, anybody that lives on or adjacent to a mountain, you guys are gonna have concerns such as landslides, mudslides, and especially places around recent burn scars. And of course, if you live in urban areas such as like the Bay Area or Los Angeles, you guys are gonna have a hard time retaining a lot of water because of the concrete. Now this is all happening because if we look at 500 millibars or midway to the troposphere, we have this somewhat stationary high pressure somewhere around the central part of the US. And that's been navigating all these atmospheric rivers and this moisture from the Pacific to California. And this high pressure is actually gonna be the reason why we're gonna see severe weather everywhere. So with this upper level high pressure, we associate that with sinking air. And so in this area around the Texas Panhandle area, we're actually gonna have a fire risk. With high pressures being clockwise flow and creating this jet stream going throughout the continent, we're gonna have a lot of high surface wind speed throughout the Great Basin, Rockies, and Eastern Rockies, and the Texas Panhandle. We could see winds up to 15 to 30 miles per hour, and maybe wind gusts up to 50 miles per hour. And for the Eastern Rockies, you guys are still having that downslope warming effect where the winds are forcing to go down with the mountain, both increasing the temperatures and making it feel more dry. And so around the Texas Panhandle area, we're gonna have really high temperatures and also high wind speed and also relative humidities around 15 to 20%. Now back to this jet stream because it's basically gonna be the high wave transporting all that moisture that we see in the West Coast all the way to places like Canada and eventually the Midwest and Northeast. And over time, we're gonna have a short wave trough that's gonna develop somewhere around the Manitoba area. And so at the surface, we're gonna have a low pressure develop somewhere around the plains. And we're gonna have a high pressure somewhere around the Ontario area. And so with high pressures being clockwise flow, it's bringing down some cool air. And with this low pressure being kind of clockwise flow, it's bringing in some warm air from the south. And so with this dynamic and the remnants of the moisture from the atmospheric river, we're gonna have a big winter storm. And so first places like Canada are gonna see a lot of snow, but places like North Dakota, Minnesota, Wisconsin, Michigan, you guys are all gonna see a possible freezing rain event. And this is gonna occur as early as noon central time today into the evening and into overnight. Then tomorrow early morning, places like Pennsylvania in the mid-Atlantic are gonna see this freezing rain. But north of this freezing rain, these places are gonna see snow. So starting with northern Michigan, you guys are gonna see about one to three inches tonight. But also starting tomorrow morning, places like New York, Pennsylvania, New Jersey, and New York City are gonna see a lot of snow. Some models such as the Hur are going extreme as 12 inches of snow and some models such as the Nam are going as low as like 5 inches. But there is still high confidence that these areas are going to see greater than 4 inches of snowfall. 